So I just returned from Washington, D.C. yesterday. I was asked to be part of a Senate hearing on AI dealing with copyright, IP, explainability, and transparency. The guy that invited me, Frank Tedeschi. Frank, say hi. Hi. Frank follows my channel, and he saw my testimony from July of 2020, where I spoke in front of the Judiciary Committee about the DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. They were trying to update that, and I spoke about fair use. This is related to the videos that I've made on blocking. Most of these videos are actually fair use, so I've talked a lot about fair use on my channel. I've also made a number of videos on AI. One of them, I think, let's see, called The AI Effect, A New Era in Music, and it's unintended consequences. I made a video called Can You Distinguish AI Generated Music? Or How Bad Is This AI Music? Which I just did a live stream on. So they wanted somebody to come in and talk about these things that was from the music field. So that's why they asked me. Now it's one thing to sit here and read a statement like I did back in 2020 and be asked questions from right here where I'm used to sitting. The last time I did this, I was wearing gym shorts under my, uh, my outfit here. This one I actually had to get dressed up for. I just got a compliment on my shoes from someone said nice, <laughs> nice shoes with the outfit. It's pretty cool. It's another thing to get on a plane and fly to DC, check into your hotel, go to Starbucks for some coffee and write some notes, then get an Uber down to the Russell Senate office building where we went through a series of tunnels after we went through security to get up to the room where the AI Insight Forum was being held, the Kennedy Caucus Room. One of the reasons I agreed to do this is that this was a nonpartisan, or I should say bipartisan committee. The four senators that were involved were uh, Senator Schumer, Senator Rounds, Senator Heinrich, and Senator Young. Senator Rounds, Mike Rounds from South Dakota, Frank works for him, and that's who invited me to participate. But it was a whole host of people from all different companies. There were people from the Allen Institute for AI, Open Mind, Stability AI, National Association of Broadcasters, Duke University, News Guild, Brookings Institute, SAG and AFTRA, Motion Picture Association, and Spotify. Before I go on, I just want to take a second and ask people to hit the subscribe button on the channel. Over 60% of the people that watch my channel regularly are not subscribed. The more subscribers I have, it's a vanity metric, many people say, but it actually helps me get these big interviews that I've been able to get. So hit the subscribe button now. There's no video from the hearing. It was a closed hearing. Senators were coming in and out during it, trying to get a feel for what was going on. It lasted for three hours. We were each asked individual questions, and then we were asked to respond to other people's responses. It was absolutely fascinating. One of the solutions that I proposed was that just as in when you have music for film, you need to get a sync license. Or if you have a music that's playing in a public area, you need a public performance license. So I said you should have something called the AI music data set license that will tell people what models the music that you're listening to were trained on. If they were trained on the Beatles music or Led Zeppelin's music or Stevie Wonder's music, the consumer needs to know this, as do the artist and the copyright holders, so they can be compensated fairly. The other thing that I mentioned was that anything that's 100% AI generated should have no copyright. And the senators that were looking at me all nodded their head in agreement. And then afterwards, I got a chance to go up to Senator Round's office and talk with him privately for about a half hour or so. It was interesting. He talked about how well these senators get along and how they agree on about 95% of things. But the news media does not want to talk about that. They just want to talk about the controversial things. After the forum ended, we walked out and Senator Schumer and Senator Young gave a recap. I found this on PBS. It's actually the only footage that I found about it. But they give a very good recap on what happened during the meeting. We have some things that I think there was a pretty good consensus on. First, when it comes to copyright in AI, we have to create and enforce protections for creators. Uh, to maintain their identities in the age of AI, and that may include ensuring some transparency in the AI systems to see what data they're trained on. But we have to do that and still maintain America's lead. Can't slow it down, so it's, these are all difficult issues. Todd. Uh, I also uh, agree. This is a fantastic forum. We learned a lot. 
the first forum, intellectual property, copyright, second forum, tr uh, transparency and explainability. Uh, transparency is essentially trying to understand the coding and, and uh, having some visibility into the algorithms in these advanced AI technologies that make decisions explainable. Uh, technologies would be those that are explainable either to an, a rank-and-file consumer or to some sort of intermediary so that in the end the consumer understands how they work. Our emphasis here, uh, in my view, and I think those of my colleagues, is, is, is as with the other topics, to make sure that the U.S. continues to lead the way in development and deployment of these technologies, but also that we're managing uh, particular risks. When it comes to all of the uh, uh, topics, IP, copyright, transparency and explainability, uh, I, I think there's going to be a balance. It was really underscored today. Uh, there were some people uh, who had divergent views, frankly, about how we protect uh, the intellectual property of our pro producers from, from artists uh, to other uh, individuals. Uh, some favored a more heavy regulatory approach. Others said, let's leave it up, up to the market uh, and, and follow existing uh, court standards, court precedents, and applying uh, such uh, doctrines as, as fair use. My suspicion, as with uh, so many other things around here, so we're going to try and find uh, a, a middle ground, uh, which in the end, uh, you know, will have to be a principled compromise. And, and we heard some really, uh, I think, thoughtful ideas about how we're going to strike that balance today. Can't get into particulars because, frankly, I'm going to have to go back and unpack some of my uh, voluminous notes. In addition to going to Senator Round's office, I also got a chance to go to Senator Schumer's office and see his incredible view off the balcony overlooking the city. It's fantastic, as you can see here. I'll continue to keep you posted on all the latest developments in AI. There are so many other AI music systems that are coming out. There's Dream Track that uh, YouTube just put out, which I hope to make a video on soon. And anything that's coming down the pipe we'll be talking about. That's all for now. Leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching.